Welcome visitors, I'm Samu Qureshi, longtime collector of Washington Redskins memorabilia. Uh, this is a replica of, well, part of the huddle anyway, from the uh, um, Super Bowl 17 championship team. Ready, break. <laughs> this is my, one of my walls of binders and this is Redskins schedule. So this, this starts in 1935 and Here's a Redskins schedule from 1935 when they were the Boston Redskins. When people ask me how many items I have, it's so hard to say. I mean, I have over a thousand different Redskin programs. I have, I'd say, I don't know, certainly over a couple hundred or a few hundred game used uh, jerseys. And this is one of my favorite jerseys. It's a uh, Charles Mann, Mann's jersey, and it's just got a ton of use, and it just shows the battle scars. You can see all the repairs all over there. I mean, there are probably about 30 repairs on this jersey. It's actually Sean Taylor's game used jersey here. Uh, and this actually has some, it has a lot of marks and dings on it and so forth. Um, and it also has some, some blood stains here. So, I mean, he was a hard hitter. Great player. I mean, I literally have thousands of photographs and, you know, hundreds of posters. These are all pictures that I took or either that or I'm in them. Okay, so this is one of my favorites here. This is me and... Me and Jumpy Gathers, another of my favorites. My friend Abigail, we we're the core members of the Jumpy fan club. I, I literally probably have over 20,000 different cards. These are the earliest football cards from 1935. They're just tons and tons of items. Yeah, I don't think I want to take that down. I don't think I really want to handle it, but it's uh, this is John, John Riggins' jock strap. And uh, I got that up at Dickinson College where I went to school. And uh, it was, of course, the training, long time training camp of the Washington Redskins. And uh, I got it from the equipment guy there who, when I was scrounging around to see if they had any jerseys left over, and there were no jerseys, no cleats, nothing really cool like that, but he did have Riggins jock strap, so he gave it to me. I took it, it's hanging up there, and it's probably become my most celebrated piece in the museum. <laughs> This is a little cool little series from 